Hello, today we'll talk about the snaps that you will use when working on every project in 3ds Max. Snaps are one of the most common tools you will use during the production process in 3ds Max. So without any further ado, let's analyze what options we have. You can access the 3ds Max snap features from buttons on the main toolbar. Ok, so by clicking on this icon, we turn on snapping to the points. At the moment, it's snapping to the grid points. Another option is the angle snap toggle, which determines the incremental rotation for a number of features, including the standard rotate transform. So as in this example, we rotate by every 5 degrees. If you right-click on this icon, you will open the grid and snap settings window. You can change here the angle, for example. So we can change it to 15, so we will rotate the box every 15 degrees. Percent snap toggle increases the scaling of objects by the specified percentage. Similar story as with rotation. By clicking on the icon, we'll get the same window and we can change the options. So now, we are changing the scale of the box every 50%. Now I will show you another cool option, Spinner Snap Toggle. Let me explain this in the example. I will set the dimensions of the box to 50 cm for each parameter, so it will be easy to notice. You can see that with this option turned on, when I click on the arrow, this dimension is increasing every 1 cm. When we turn off this option, it gets back to the default settings. If you right-click on the icon, we'll open the preference settings and we can change the spinner snap amount here. Let's say we will set it to something smaller. The value is changing every 0.25 cm as we want it. We can change it to something bigger as well. By the way, let me know in the comments if you would like me to do more videos like this talking about different tools in 3ds Max. Ok, now let's go back to different snap point options. If you click and hold the mouse on the icon, you will get a variety of snap types, which you can use to activate different snap types as you work. A 3D snap flyout is the default tool and it is the most common during the production process. In our case, it will be snapping to the grid points as mentioned before, but we can change it. To do this, we can right-click on the main toolbar and turn on the snap. So now we have snap to grid points toggle on, we can also have snap to pivot toggle for instance. But the most common will be the snap to vertex toggle, which will allow you to snap directly to any geometry in 3D space. We can choose 2D snap layout. In this case, the cursor snaps only to the geometry on the plane of the grid. The z-axis, or vertical dimension, is ignored. So we can see that we cannot snap to anything at this position. But let's go to the top view. We cannot snap to this plane. The same for the pink one. But we can snap to this rectangle. Why? Let me show you. It is in the same position at the z-axis. These two planes are at the same level, so we will be able to snap them to each other as well. And now, we'll use 2.5D snap flyout. In this case, the cursor snaps only to the vertices or edges of the projection of any object onto the active grid. It means that you can snap from vertex to vertex, but it is drawn on the active grid. The effect is like holding up a sheet of glass and drawing the outline of a distance object on it.
and 3D snapping lets you create and move geometry in all dimensions. We have one more cool option here. We can right-click on the main toolbar and choose Axis Constraints. If we click here, we can limit all transformations, so moving, rotating and scaling to the XY planes. So even if we have 3D snapping on, we can snap only to the points in the XY plane in this case. It will help us avoid transforming an object in a direction we didn't intend. It will be really helpful when working on the projects. But we can do the same for the z-axis. We can change these options manually as well. Now we will snap only in the x-axis. Now we can change it to y-axis. The same for the z-axis. Really handy option and worth knowing. Let me show you how you can use this with shapes, for example with the line. I will choose 2.5D snapping. When I draw a line, it snaps to the points, but the line is projected onto the 0, 0, 0 level. But if I choose 3D snapping, the points of the lines will be exactly in the same place in 3D space as the points of the box, including the z-axis. If we choose 2D snapping, we cannot snap to any point in the perspective view because none of these boxes' points are in the 0, 0, 0 level. But we can snap to the lines as they are on the 0, 0, 0 level. Ok, I hope all is clear for you so far. I would advise you to test these options by yourself, it will be always easier to understand. Also, if you would like to learn not only what options you have, but also how to use them to create visualizations in 3ds Max, I'd like to invite you to join our visualization training. Click here to check it out on your website. Bye bye!